New details at midday on the story that we first brought you as breaking news this morning. Fire crews clear the scene of an apartment fire in Decatur. You're taking a look at cell phone video that was shared with us by a Way 31 viewer as those flames are just kind of shooting out the rooftops of that apartment complex. You could see orange flames in the air. It, 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 was, it looked as if we were in California with the wildfires going on. That's how the flames were deep orange. Wow. It happened at an apartment complex on Courtney Drive. That fire started around 3 this morning. Way 31's Rodney Ross was there all morning and explains what people heard just before that building burned. I talked to several people this morning, all of them telling me one thing. They heard an explosion and they knew something wasn't right. And if you take a look behind me, you can still see the yellow tape surrounding the building, keeping everyone out as this fire is investigated. We felt this, like, heard this loud boom and could feel the floor shake. And we both initially thought that a neighbor had just, you know, slammed something, something had hit. Allison Shirley told me she and her husband were sitting in their living room early Friday morning when they felt the explosion. Poked his head out the window or out the door to look and saw flames coming from below and was like, you know, it's a fire. We've got to get out. We've got to go. After realizing their building was on fire, the couple grabbed their cat and as much of their stuff as they could and rushed out the door. Many other neighbors did the same. I saw a bunch of people running through the parking lot, you know, wrapped in blankets. If it wasn't for them, I don't know really how many people woke up. Everyone made it out of the building, but most of their belongings are gone. Shirley tells me it's a blessing no one was hurt, but looking at the damage left behind is heartbreaking. You know, it's devastating to look at it and just see that so many people's lives, you know, just there's nothing left of what was there even just, you know, two or three hours ago. It's just, it's gone. The fire marshal told me he is confident this fire started outside the building on the first floor. He also told me they found several cans of aerosol that exploded. Right now, they are still investigating to determine the cause of the fire. Reporting in Decatur, Rodney of Ross, Way 31 News. Rodney, thanks. We know the Red Cross came out and assisted the people who lived in that building. We were also told by the fire marshal that the community development will be out sometime today to take a look at that building.